up you guys? Yes. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about freshman advice specifically for Chico State students. If you didn't already know, my name is Marnie. I am a Chico State incoming fifth year. I'm coming to you today in my like first ever piece of Chico State gear that I bought my freshman year. Move-in day for the freshmen I think is in like two weeks or something like that. Welcome week is coming up. There's a lot that's about to go down. When I was an incoming freshman, I spent so much time on YouTube being like how to make friends in college. It all worked out. So I figured what better to do than to enlighten you all with some knowledge. I will say there's definitely an age gap. So like my experience in 2015 may be very different from your experience 2019. I cannot believe I've been in school for this long and that I'm going into my last year. We'll talk about that later, but like that's crazy. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is college is not like high school. Virtually no one is going to know who you are which is a blessing and a curse because it means like if you were uncool in high school, no one knows. I mean, they might be able to tell, but no one knows. So you can kind of create whatever experience you would like out of college. For example, I didn't party in high school. Be willing to, you know, kind of think about what you were like in high school, what you wish you had done now that you're graduated from high school and uh, use that to have the most fun in college that you possibly can. This is also a curse though because you don't know anybody. In high school, you know most of the school. You definitely know most of your class, especially if you come from a smaller school. So you need to put forth a lot of effort in order to make friends, especially in the first two weeks. First two weeks, in my opinion, are completely crucial into what your whole college experience is like. Almost everyone that I hang out with now, I met my first two weeks of college. Most of us all lived in the same dorm, so it's super, super important to really be as social as possible those first two weeks. Everyone's gonna start having actual class to go to and they're gonna forget about you if you didn't, you know, make it known that you wanted to be friends. If you live in the dorms, keep your door open. That way people can pop their head in and be like, hey, do you wanna go to Sutter? Hey, we're going to the Thursday night market. Let's go and just be super willing to talk to someone if they want to stop by and say hi. The first people that I met and became friends with is because I had my door open and they walked down and said hi to every single open door. Otherwise, I would not have gone out to lunch. I literally wouldn't have met my boyfriend until later on. Like, fun facts, my boyfriend and I lived in the same dorm. More advice on that later. <laughs> Keep your door open. Say yes to everything in the first two weeks. I don't mean like someone offers you heroin, say yes to it. I mean like, hey, we're gonna go to Sutter. Hey, let's go hike Upper Bidwell. Let's go to a party. It's in your best interest to say yes to that because once you start saying no, you're gonna stop getting invited. So even if you're tired or a little homesick, or you're really just not interested in going out because that happened to me, just go because you'll notice really quickly, like the first couple of days, it'll be a group of 20 of you and slowly but surely it kind of breaks down into the, you know, five to 10 of you who actually say yes to these things and actually go hang out regularly. And I seriously think like it is worth it. Even if you're not in the mood, just go. You're gonna have fun. You're in college. It's your first two weeks of freshman year. Let's be real, your freshman year classes aren't gonna be that hard. So just go out and have a good time with your friends or who will probably become your friends very soon. Cause the last thing you want is all of a sudden you're at home studying or calling your mom cause you miss her and people are going out without you. They're not even stopping by to see what you're up to. So that's really important. Every time someone asks, you're not gonna want to every single time, just go, it's worth it. My next piece of advice is one that I think is very important. Do not start dating someone that you meet in college right away. This never works out, especially if you live in the same dorm. Even if you really like them, leave it until like spring semester or once you guys move out of the dorms because imagine, 
breaking up after three weeks, which is what happens to all these couples, and then you live together. And your friend groups all know each other because you just become friends with everyone in your dorm, and all of a sudden you have to see them all the time, and it's super awkward. Don't do that. There was a couple that did that in my in Lassen. I should probably preface this. By the way, I lived in Lassen, and there was a couple in my dorm <laughs> that started dating and then broke up like a week later, and it turned into this whole drama and you really <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your friends. Don't do that to the dorm. Everyone will know your business. It's awful. <laughs> Just don't do it. Similarly, do not show up to college and assume that people want to date because most people, if they had a boyfriend or girlfriend in high school, they just broke up or broke up not too long ago. And they're not really looking to get into a relationship, especially in Chico in the first week a freshman year. It's not really a dating scene. There were quite a few girls that I knew that on the very first night hooked up with the guy from the dorms and like spent the next couple of weeks being like, do you guys think we'll start like dating? <laughs> and I just remember, cause I had been dumped like the summer before college. And I was like, I am so not interested. Even though I totally liked Jack who would eventually become my boyfriend. I wasn't like, yeah, let's jump into this relationship and make it super weird for everyone we know. It's fine to just, just wait. What are you guys gonna do? Become really good friends and know everything about each other before you get together? I honestly think if anything, you'll build a way more lasting relationship. I'm also totally biased because that's how my relationship started. I'm just giving you recommendations and advice, okay? So yeah, don't expect a boyfriend the first week of school or a girlfriend, it's not gonna happen. Just be open to making friends. A couple of quick ones. Don't smoke in your dorm room because the alarms will go off. I don't think you get in trouble anymore. They changed the rules, but it used to be that you got like sent home. There was one girl, she moved in and had like weed in her backpack and the RA smelled it and she got kicked out before she even was able to move all the way in. So don't be that girl <laughs> and don't smoke in your room because you will at 2 a.m. have the whole dorm file out. Firefighters who are have to show up may or may not tell the crowd of hundreds of half asleep freshman your name and the fact that you were smoking in your room, which happened not to me, but like to my dorm. Don't get addicted to anything and try not to drink so much that you hurl. That last one is hard to know the limit, but just do your best. It's not cute. Try to keep your wits about you. There was one girl who peed on the floor because she thought it was the bathroom. So, you know, keep your wits about you. This thing, use this thing. At a certain point, you're gonna really miss your parents or maybe it's like your long distance boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever. They're gonna wanna call you all the time, FaceTime you all the time. I'm sorry, I just killed a bug. And at least for me, it was like, I was trying to have a good time and my mom would wanna call me and talk for like hours. And I personally had to be like, mom, here's the boundary. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'll call you when I'm not doing anything. I mean, try to be nice about it, but you kind of have to let the people in your life that aren't in college with you know, hey, I need to set this up so that I'm successful. We'll talk later. You definitely don't want to be spending like a Friday night FaceTiming your friends from home, unless that's truly what you want to do. But let's be real, like it goes along with like, say yes to people wanting to go out. Don't be so homesick that you refuse to do anything. No one's gonna want to hang out. I didn't get homesick until like October. So I don't know. I was just like super excited about it for the first two months. My next two pieces of advice are more school related. Number one, go to class. College is not like high school. In high school, people know if you're in class or not. Your teacher knows that you're not there. Your friends know you're not there. It's a whole ordeal. They call your parents, your parents know. No one is holding you accountable for anything when you're in college. You're completely <laughs> accountable for everything you do, which if you came from a more sheltered or structured household is a lot. You have to find it in yourself to be like, I'm gonna wake up for this 8 a.m. class that I signed up for 
and I'm gonna go. Because you will lose points, you will have to study harder on the tests, you're not gonna do as well in that class if you don't go. Go to class. It is so easy to not go to class because no one will notice. It is so easy and it, I mean, I'm in my fifth year and I still find it hard to go to class. So just, you have to do it. And to make it easier, especially your freshman year, don't have a class around 12 o'clock because that's lunchtime. At least for me, me and like almost everyone on the second floor would go get lunch together. And that's how I like really got all my socializing done is um, lunchtime and after class, you just walk down in the hall and you're like, hey, what are you guys doing? What's up? You will not want to go to class most days. <laughs> Just go. Don't go if you have like the flu, but go if you're like, would rather stay in your dorm and watch Blue Mountain State, which is what I did. Also, talk to your teachers. College is also not similar to high school in the same way that like teachers don't see specifically where you're struggling and they won't reach out to help you unless you say, hi, I don't understand this. Can I come to your office hours? Can you explain this further. Help me out here. What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Teachers are super willing to help usually. Some of them really do not like their jobs and shouldn't have their jobs, but that's a whole other story. Most teachers know you're a freshman and want you to succeed so please ask for help. Ask your classmates like, hey, what? Do you know what the homework was? Like, do you understand it? Most people are willing to help. I would also recommend that you kind of start thinking about your future. I came to school as an art major. Now, doing art for a living does not really make that much money. So in the first, I think, month, they bring you in and they're like, here are your projected earnings. And this is the kind of job you can expect. And I like was only just figuring out like, mm, I kinda wanna make money one day. I'd like to be self-sufficient. What am I gonna do? Figure out what it is that you're like, oh, like, I kind of like this thing and I kind of like this thing and I want to make about this much money. Really start thinking about it. It took me three years of school to figure it out. So don't feel bad. If you are a freshman and you have no idea, stay undeclared. Take GEs from different areas of study so you can really kind of get a feel for like, oh, I really enjoy this or I'm really good at this. Because if I had done that, I would have probably figured out that I like nutrition a lot faster and I wouldn't have spent two years trying to do computer science, which I always knew deep down was not for me. So just kind of listen to those signs of like, there's like a little voice telling me that I hate this. <laughs> should I do it or should I switch to something that I like? Don't feel like what you major in in college is the end of your world because something like 60% of people do something that has nothing to do with their college major. I would also recommend to the freshmen to explore Chico. I was the friend with the car, which is probably how I actually kept most of my friends. So we would go to Upper Bidwell, we went to five mile within like the first two days I'm pretty sure. Hiking monkey face is a super easy fun thing to do and you know find a friend with a car be the friend with a car don't let people take advantage of you if you're the friend with the car i used to have a lot of people ask me if they could borrow my car and i'm like no i can drop you off somewhere but i'm not giving you my car keys <laughs> who do you think i am and then lastly you don't have to go out some people don't like drinking some people don't like going out some people don't like crowds whatever i think it's super worthwhile to the college experience i had so much fun going out my freshman year that I hardly like going out anymore. I got it all out of my system already almost. It is so fun, especially if you like to dance at parties. I do. <laughs> I super recommend it. So if you're even not the type to usually go out, go out on Halloween weekend and Cesar Chavez, whatever the other celebrations are, because it's a good time. It's fun. You get to meet a bunch of people. I recommend it. I think my college experience wouldn't be what it was if I didn't go out to parties. And just try and have as much fun as possible. You're at school to learn knowledge of the academic variety, but you're also in college to kind of really learn who you are because you're not a fully formed person yet. And, you know, don't be afraid to have some controversial opinions or talk about things that maybe you didn't get, really get into with your high school friends. College was the first time I ever talked about politics with my friends. Really make connections. Like, you'll remember your college. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> What the heck? The four to five years is gonna go by so fast. So take a bunch of videos and a bunch of pictures and, you know, really cherish the college experience. Why am I crying? <laughs>
Okay, well that was really embarrassing. I'm still crying a little bit, but what I'm trying to say is these four to six years, depending on what kind of student you are, will disappear before your eyes. Take a bunch of pictures, take a bunch of videos, go on as many trips as you can. Like even just me and my little friend group, like we never had like Cabo money, but we've been to Tahoe twice. Have a good time. Once you get into like the real adult world, you don't get to have as much free, fun time as you do in college and you're gonna really miss it. I think I'm gonna really miss college a lot. Like there's a lot of stuff that I'm ready to be finished with, but I really love this school is um, what I'm realizing right now. Also, you will probably go through a phase like sophomore to junior year where you hate it. Just don't drop out. <laughs> it's such a bad idea to drop out because I wanted to drop out like all of sophomore year and most of junior year. It's totally worth it to just stay in school. Don't know why I got emotional, not on my period or anything. So that was weird. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that your freshman year goes super smoothly and that you have a good time. Cause while that's not the only reason you're there, it's also like an important part of why you're there. And it's a really good time. That's it. Subscribe, leave me any other questions you might have in the comments below. Maybe I can do a things you definitely do and do not need in the dorms. I'll see if I can even remember <laughs> what I had in my dorm. I think I have a picture somewhere on my old phone. Yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next week.